Hi guys, uh, welcome to the fourth tutorial on um, ALV table development in WebTrim for Web App. In this tutorial, uh, we'll look at uh, you know few more configurations that we can do using uh, ALV configuration model. So here I have uh, an ALV table, um, and what I've done in this tutorial is I've already written the code because. Uh, there's a lot of code uh, to be written so instead of doing that in the tutorial I've already written it but I've commented it uh, so when I'm explaining uh, you know some feature like for example changing the table width I will uncomment the code and explain the code in detail and we'll see the output um, how it appears on the screen okay so what I have here is right now I'm just filling the ALV2 node and if you you know remember from the previous tutorials uh, I've created uh, a node called LV2 which is binded to uh, the interface controller data node of the interface controller right uh, so the data that we fill in in this node uh, is what appears on the screen so I've written a simple select from the previous tutorials uh, and it's similar to the previous tutorials Right, I'm selecting the data from my YMovie table into an internal table and then binding that to the LV2 node. Okay. So all this is from the code wizard. You can create this node code from the code wizard. And then here um, this is again similar to the code that I've written um, that I had written in the previous tutorials. It's just instantiating the component usage and then getting the model from the uh, you know f from the component usage so and this is the class that is the ALV configuration model like all the methods that uh, are available in this class are used to uh, configure the ALV table in different ways that uh, we'll see uh, in later in this tutorial okay so this is output uh, it has like five rows of data um, yeah so first thing we'll do is um, and if you see the table uh, it occupies only certain width in the screen right uh, doesn't look good I mean it should uh, occupy the whole screen All right so there are two ways of doing it one is you can add more columns and then uh, so the size of the ALV table increases but then uh, I have only you know seven columns to display I forget about the cell design I'll come to that later so I will the table has only six columns right which has uh, data but I want to display this uh, such that it occupies the whole screen you now we can do that just in uh, simple code um, so this ALV configuration table class has a method called set width so I'll just uncomment this code okay so it's nothing it's just uh, you know we already uh, got a reference of this class into this LV underscore value so I'm just going to uh, call this method and the method takes a value a numeric value so I set it as 400 and let's activate this okay let's refresh okay so now the table occupies the whole screen right it looks good now it looks very good so that is one thing um, and then if you want to set header text for ALV table so what is header text is uh, I don't have any description of this table I mean what it displays or uh, you know what it uh, represents for example that it represents uh, a movie table data or if you want to add some description to the uh, table uh, you so SCP is given a method called uh, I'll just comment this first okay so it is given a method called set text right but before using that method what we need to do is um, first we need to get the reference to the header of the LV table. Okay. So LV value refers to the configuration table class and within that class we have a method called create header. 
right? Which which creates a reference, which creates an object of type this class. Okay, this is a header class. So what I'm doing is I'm using the create header, and I got the instance which refers to this class. Now from that I can use set text method and pass in whatever text I want to you know set it as a header text. I've just said this is the header text and I just activate okay so I'll just write it down so that you know it will be more clear. So what I've done here is um, you know create header instance first and then uh, use set underscore text method to set the header text okay so it's simple um, I'll just activate this refresh so this is how it appears so you can keep you know any text you want so this is one thing and uh, then I'll come back to yeah so if you see here the column headers for instance this is year this is this is in capital and says category. It says nominee one, nominee two, nominee three. And okay. Uh, how this header text appears? Yes. Okay. Um, so when I created this context node ALV two, so I've taken the fields from this structure, right? So let's go to the structure and see. So the description, the sh short description of the field is taken when uh, it's taken by default by the system, right? Year category nominee. Uh, okay, so the short description of the data element, not uh, not the field. Okay, so for, for example, the category field, uh, you know, doesn't have a category. It's it's something else. It's it comes from the technical field attributes. So. If I go to the Y year, for instance, in the field label, I've defined, you know, year, year, year. Okay, so it's taken uh, from the from uh, here. Okay, the description. But for category field, I've not uh, defined any field label here. So when you don't define field labels, the technical name of the field is taken as the description of the column header. That's what. Uh, that's why you're seeing, uh, you know, category in capitals. Um, and for all other fields, I've defined uh, you know the, the field labels in the data element, so it appears in the, in the screen. Um, now, if you want to change the descriptions to something else, so I don't want to you know take it from the field label or the technical uh, name of the data element. I want to have different descriptions. So how we can do that? We can do that uh, using uh, again configuration table methods. So I'll just uncomment uh, this code. Uh, there's a lot of code, but uh, don't worry. I'll just explain it. Okay. Let me activate first. Okay. So let's go step by step. Now what I'm doing here is um, now it's, it's similar to the you know what we did for header. So if you want to create a header text first we created a reference to this class right the header class similarly for the columns we don't have to create reference the reference you know the, the reference already exists in the uh, SAP is created already the references so we just need to get those references so SAP is given a class called get columns right uh, and then we get all the columns that are available in the LV table okay and then loop over that internal table 
uh, which has references to all the fields and and then we're going to get the reference of the header of the column right okay before that first look at what is the structure of this ls underscore fields right it refers to this okay, it has two columns it has two um, you know fields one is id this refers to the id of the column and the other is reference to this class the column class okay so to identify you know which column we are referring we use the ls fields id okay and ls fields r underscore column refers to the column class and that class has a method called get underscore header which will give you the reference to the header of each column okay so let's say you know when i'm looping over this internal table the first field will be year right so the column id will be y y year that is the field name that's available in the structure that i bind it to the alv table so so what i'm doing here i'm referring to the y year column here and then i'm getting the reference of that particular header of the column okay get header so this will have reference to the header of the column and within that class the header class we have a method called set property ddic binding field so what i'm doing here is uh, i'm passing you know a value called ddic bind none which means i am basically removing the binding that sap uh, you know by default has so the by default sap is using you know the field label or the technical name of the data element so i'm removing all those dependencies first so that's what this you know this method does set property ddc binding field i'm uh, setting it to none right so sap removes all the bindings that are uh, available by default once i'm i've done that so i've written a case statement so that you know for each column i'm i'm setting a different text right so for y year column um so just just forget about this right now okay um so i'm using a set text and it's it's similar to the header if you see the set text right so i'm setting this is here that is a description of the column header so here so in the header i'm setting the header text for the whole table right for the whole this this is applicable for the whole table now what i'm doing is i'm setting header text for each individual column okay and similarly for category i'm setting it as this is category forget about uh, you know this this line we'll come to that later well, let me comment out okay okay and okay even this is okay now so for y year i'm setting it as this is text for category i'm setting it this is category and for others i'm setting just any other column so right so i hope this is clear So this is here this is category as any other column any other column any other column any other column okay so that is how we change the text of the each column header now um and uh, you know one of the you know common requirements in you know, when you do lv development is uh, you know customers want to color columns or individual cells different colors based on some logic right um for example if you if you have let's say a price column or the total value column you know it's one of the column in the lv table and 
if the total value exceeds a particular value let's say thousand uh, you know dollars then um, I want to see that column in red color right or if it if it is below 500 I want to see it as a green color something like that so how do we um, you know make each column how do we display each column is different color or within a column if you want to display individual cells right so the column contains multiple cells and if you want to display each cell with a different color based on some criteria how do we do that but to do that uh, before you know we write the code what we need to do is we have to add to the ALV structure that we defined we have to add another uh, field which refers to the type WD UI library and type right. so I've created um, you know a different column now which refers to this type so when change the structure here uh, you have to you know again update the context with the attributes with the new attribute right so you have to you know just go to the change mode and select this If you select this button here, it will pop up the structure. Okay, um, I have to go to the component controller because that's where I've defined the node. Okay, so if you select this, it will pop up the structure, and you have to select the cell underscore design and say okay. Then it will get added to the uh, component controller context, and then you do the you know update mapping in the view. you go to the context and just say right click on the context node and say update dictionary attributes and update mapping so it will uh, update the field here as well okay so once we've done that once we've done that the cell underscore design column will appear here right uh, but I don't want this to appear on the screen for the users because this is this this we will use only uh, to make you know columns with the different color to the cells with different colors so this is only for internal use not for the users so I want to hide this column so if you want to hide any of the column you know appearing in the web browser what you can do is uh, So in the same uh, loop that we you know use to change the header text, you can write you know this piece of code, which is again part of the you know uh, column class. You have set visible, and you set the value to zero zero. Like that will make uh, the column disappear on the screen. So just activate this. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, so we don't see the cell design column now. So if you want to hide even this column, for example, you just uh, in the case statement, and if you want to hide category, for example, in the case statement of the category, you just put this code. It'll uh, you know disappear from the screen. Okay, now let's go back to you know how do we uh, color it, right? Okay, so. <coughs> Now I added a new column called cell underscore design. So now I need to fill that particular field with some value, right? Um, so this is the code I've written here to fill that speed. Okay, so I'm doing a select statement and Y movie table into corresponding fields of LTLV2. Now this LTLV2 structure has a new field called cell underscore design, right? Now this Y movie doesn't have cell underscore design. So when we do the select now the cylinder score design in this table will be black. Okay, 
So what I'm doing here is now filling that particular field based on some criteria. So I'm looping over LDL V2 and taking it to field symbol. And the logic you know I've written is when the category of that particular record is is pick is PIC, then put the cell design to 02. Okay, I'll explain what is 02 and 09. Uh, if it is not picked, then cell design will be 09. Okay. So after this loop gets completed, the cell design field will be filled with some values, either 02 or 09. Okay. And then here, when we are doing this, uh, you know, changing the header text here, what we can do if you want to set there are two different ways of setting the color. One is you want, you can set the whole column with single color or you can set each cell inside the column with different colors based on some logic. Okay, here what I'm doing is I'm using again, uh, you know, there is a method in the column table, column class called set cell design and uh, if you set it to 0 1 right, it sets uh, the color for the entire column okay now what does 0 1 uh, mean so for that you go to the class that column class CLWD table column and go to the local definitions and implementation go to the public section here are the values so when you say 0 1 it is um, negative I think it, it it appears as a you know red color this is a standard color 0 0 and the positive uh, I don't remember the color but it's, it's, it's I think a green right so you have a different options to you know choose from 0 3 0 4 0 6 0 9 right so So I selected 0, 01, which is uh, I think uh, similar to red color. So the entire column will be red. Now the second way of you know coloring the column is each individual cell. If you want to have uh, you know different color for each individual cell based on some logic, the same class, the same column class has a different method called set cell design field name. Right. Now here this method takes a value of the column name right that is why we created a cell design column okay and then we are filling the cell design column here based on some logic right so if it is a pick it is 02 if it is a not pick then it is 09 so when sap is creating the table developing you know the uh, displaying the table uh, what it does is it will see what is the value you know in this particular column for that particular uh, record so when it comes to the case, case statement here okay I'm now displaying the category column now the category column each individual cell uh, each individual record for example has uh, a field called cell design now if the category so the the way we fill cell design is if the category is pick then it should be 0 2 if it is not pick it is 0 9 Right. Let's see how it appears on the screen. So the difference between here and here is I'm setting it to a uh, you know a specific value here, but here I'm setting it to a field. So SAP refers to that field, you know, looks at that field and takes the value from that field. So that is why we have filled uh, you know the field with different values here. Let's refresh. So yeah. So for year column, we've hard coded the value to zero one, right? So that's why the whole column appears in one color. But for the category column, instead of setting it to a specific value, I'm giving the value uh, to a particular uh, you know column in the structure. So based on what is the value in that column for a particular record, the color changes. 
So basically, I can have you know different color for each each of the cell in this column. Okay, so that is how uh, you know the coloring works.